we should be well within the patterns on this this DVD here, the fall patterns DVD. A year ago when I was filming it, we um, <clears throat> early November. It's November first. You know, I think we were covering suspending jerk baits. Uh, we still had a good crank bait bite going. On. Certainly, a lot of spinner bait bites. Um, but a couple days ago, we had our first snow. End of October, we had our first snow this season, and um, you know we had about six inches of this stuff two days ago. I've got hair jigs ready. I've got some of the smaller finesse baits. Certainly the little tubes will get a workout, that small profile. But yeah, we've gone from what I think is gonna be a <clears throat> water temp in the low 60s, you know, 10 days ago, to I think we're probably mid 40s now. Stop to gas up. Um, <clears throat> six inches of snow here, I think Harrisburg got uh, 10 or so, and this is the, the predictor, the gauge predictor at the Harrisburg gauge. And uh, this very, very, very slow rise, and then subsequent very slow fall, um, that's snow melt. So we have a lot of 32 degree water entering the river. I don't think this rise is going to cause any turbidity. I think we're still going to have fairly clean water, even at six feet, because it took a while getting there. Um, <clears throat> but it's going to be cold. So. Again, I'm, you know, we're, we're probably going to have to resort to some, you know, some winter tactics. You know, hair jig fishing, small soft plastics. Certainly, we'll do some some jerk bait fishing, slow rolling spinner baits, and the like. So, yeah, but the water's been warm for October until the this unusual snow hit us, right? Yeah, yeah, and it it. it some of these gauges have temperature graphs. Unfortunately, this one doesn't, um, and you can definitely see it. You can see snow melt. You can see cloudy days because it doesn't doesn't come up as much when the <clears throat> when the when you have a bright sunny day. The river's gonna warm up a good bit, and they they will pull shallow and uh, enjoy that that warming effect of the sun. Today we're going to have cloud cover. I think it actually helped us overnight because it a, a, a blanket of cloud cover at night actually helps retain some of the heat overnight. And um, whereas if it's if it's very clear overnight, you the earth loses a lot of its heat. We're on our way down. We we launched in the creek up there. Took a couple casts. Nothing. Nothing happening yet. We're on our way down to uh, an area that I know is a good wintering hole. Places, you know, one of the places up here that I fish in uh, January, February. I do real well in December. We did a a river raid for kayak bass fishing here um, two years ago. Dad, it's going to bounce a little bit. cast it directly downstream along that foam lane just right on that border between where the, uh, the foam is just gently swirling down there and the faster current out here that's where they're gonna sit Yeah. 